guys, welcome to RTRC. So, um, today I was installing an engine on um, a little um, Seagull Extra, and um, I kind of hit an interesting problem, which, because um, I obviously, I, I don't install engines that often, and quite often when I've built sort of power planes, they've actually already come with engine mounts and things installed. So, I kind of hit this problem, which said, well, how do I make sure my engine is actually aligned at exactly the right point and you know what I'm actually talking about here is the alignment for things like this cowl because obviously we kind of we want the motor coming up bang through the center of that and it's not so easy but well it's not easy if you don't know what you're doing so um, I've kind of begged and borrowed a few ideas from people used a little bit of 3d printing skill and I have some results. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pop the camera around and I'll show you what I've done here. One second, guys. Well, there we go. Okay, so here we have the airframe. And you will notice, first off, I have completely mounted, just using some U-clamps, a little DLE 20 up here, but you'll notice I've mounted it in reverse. Now, there is a reason for that. These are all soft mounted at the moment. Um, just to kind of hold things on, but I'm actually using it for alignment. So the key thing here, if you look at one of these engines, the shaft runs bang through the center of this. Sorry, I thought someone was coming in the door, but it's the wind blowing. So um, the shaft runs straight through the center. So that's kind of the center where the prop is gonna spin. Now, what the good news is, and let me pop this off one second, guys, there we go. The good news is the vast majority of model aircraft we buy in ready to fly format, or almost ready to fly format, have a little hole over here. Now, that, that has traditionally always served two purposes. Number one, it's kind of a lead for the tank fuel lines and things like that to come out of. But also, it's actually, generally speaking, the center point. So that when I pop this cowling on, and shall we try to prove this? Well... Not so hard, easy to do this, holding the camera and everything at the same time. There we go, we got that in. And I'll hold the thing, and we can actually see, there we go, that hole is pretty much bang on the center. Can we get in there? Bang on the center of where the motor thrust line and, and exit holes and everything are. So, what does this actually mean? Well, in theory, if I take my motor and mount it in reverse, I hit the center point and that's kind of cool but it's not as easy as that because how do you know it's in the center point now I had a buddy of mine suggested using a spinner plugged on the end of the motor and then you can kind of get it centered up but um I went one step further and I used some 3d printing so let me show you I will pop the camera around and we can see on the end here essentially what I've done I'll pop that down because I can't hold and talk and everything else I've 3D printed a very short cone, which the diameter was fractionally larger than that. Okay, so that's fractionally larger and it tapers ever, ever so slightly. And then it just had a hole for the um, motor mount to go through. The result of this is a completely bespoke custom. It will plug directly in to there, as you can see. Whoa, and I'll push it in. And magically, look at that guys, magically, it's now all self-supported, we're on the center line, and I now know exactly where to put my various screw holes. So, um, what, is, you know, what, what does this actually mean? Well, what it means is actually exactly that. I've rigged this all up with a couple of U-bolts, tiny little bit of 3D printing, plugged it on the front, I can mark out my holes, drill them, and I'm good to go. Superb! It, you know... It's actually remarkably easy if you know how. So, um, well, there you go. Now you know. Anyway, guys, cheers. Enjoy your day. Okay, guys. So we are a whole, um, well, maybe an hour and a half on from the last video I popped together, and I thought I would show you the result. I've kind of mounted everything up. I've got the cowling on, done a little bit of um, shaping, and it kind of works. So here we go. Well, is that working? There we go. We have the edge and as we can see pretty much bang on lined up this is actually not quite tied on so it's slightly loose at the moment so you'll notice a few little misalignments but once i've got that exactly spot on 
I will be drilling a couple of holes and things in here to kind of secure the cowling properly. But um, I'm quite chuffed with the result. Something to be said for doing it like this, guys. Anyway, enjoy. Cheers.